Walt Disney's company plane was a great source of pride and joy. In 1964, during the top secret Project X, Walt upgraded to a sleek Grumman Gulfstream 1, which helped him survey land in Florida. With this postcard, we reveal stories from Walt's plane, from the office of Walt Disney. Walt's interest in um, private aircraft for business purposes uh, started with a smaller airplane, uh, piston powered, and the next one had turboprop. And very quickly, uh, Walt said, well, let's get a bigger airplane, you know, a corporate airplane. Of course, the Gulfstream at that time was propeller driven. The Model G1 was the corporate airplane to have. All of the airplanes that Walt used, they all were called the mouse. It was, it, you know, it was logical, we had a mouse on the tail. When you buy an airplane, whether personally or corporate, uh, you do uh, apply for your, uh, what we call a tail number. In this particular case, they did want uh, Metro Metro, which would be a Mickey Mouse, and then any uh, numbers in the front, and luckily they found it, instead of a one, two, three, they found a two, three, four. Air traffic controllers across America, one we called in as Mickey Mouse, they were thrilled. That's Walt Disney. He's going right through, right through our control zone. So it was a two-way street. We had fun, they had fun. The New York World's Fair, we were transporting people back and forth all the time. Of course, the Florida Project came along. It gave him an opportunity to save a lot of time and to work and to put the right people together when, when he wanted to go somewhere. And it didn't take very long for Walt to figure out Say, we do sales junkets, we do uh, film promotion, we do uh, character promotion, live actors, Mickey Mouse, Donald Luck, etc. Say, that's a terrific uh, presentation tool. We'll land someplace and out comes all our uh, cast members pouring out of the airplane. The airplane becomes show business. Walt had one particular seat in the, in the, uh, in the plane where on the wall next to him under the, the, the portholes, there was a phone where he could talk to the pilot, and there was an altimeter and an airspeed indicator, so he could sort of uh, keep track of uh, what was going on with the airplane. This little postcard gives you a good uh, view of what it looked like, and it was divided into the front room where all of the folks like me sat, and then if there was anyone important on board, like I was able to ride it a couple times with Roy and Edna Disney, they would sit in the back area along with their close friends. The plane was wonderful, and we used it so often in building Walt Disney World uh, after Walt had passed away. We would fly from Burbank to Orlando with a plane full of usually Imagineers on Monday, and then Friday we would load up usually the same Imagineers we had on Monday and fly back to California. So I lived in Orlando during the week and lived in California on the weekends. A reproduction of this historic piece is among 23 treasures included in the 2016 D23 Gold Member Gift from the office of Walt Disney. We invite you to learn more about this exciting collection at d23.com slash office of Walt Disney. <laughs>